Looking at the headline with the name of today's character, many rub their hands excitedly in advance. There will be a massacre. Yes, Land Rover Discovery 4 is not a standard of reliability. However, it seems to us that this model nevertheless left many of its sins in the late 90s, early 2000s. Contrary to any slanders and even fair complaints of the owners, this car remains beloved and desired by many. Such is her karma. And it's not about recognizable design and premium aristocratic genes. It's just that Land Rover Discovery 4 was created not to obey, but to obey. Only an emotionally strong and holistic person with a good income is able to coexist in harmony with such a machine. She can't handle the weak. She rejects them. In other words, you are not looking for an LR, but he is looking for you from thousands of candidates. But let's leave the lyrics and turn to the material. Her field isn't plowed here. Disco 4 is a complex, multifaceted machine that prefers the unique special equipment of official services and repairs. Parts are expensive, and the cost of maintenance is unlikely to appeal to a person who comes to LR from Japanese and even many European brands. Under the hood, the following options are possible, a 5-liter gasoline aspirated engine with 375 horsepower, a 3-liter gasoline turbo with 340 horses, two 2.7 turbo diesels, 188 horsepower, and 3 liters with several boost options, 211 to 258 horsepower. If you close your eyes to the ruthless gluttony of a 5-liter gasoline unit, it delivers the least negative emotions. Perhaps, apart from the possible sagging of the timing belts, there are two of them, nothing so systemically unpleasant can be expected from a gasoline unit, but with diesels it can be troublesome. Most of the problems are electrical. On a 2.7-liter unit, the EGR valve is naughty, which is manifested by increased smoke and uneven operation. There are also malfunctions associated with a breakthrough in the air pipe of the pressurization system, from the intercooler radiator to the throttle assembly, due to which the engine power is lost. There are no special problems on a 3-liter engine with EGR. But it has two turbines, the 2.7 engine has one, and this entails additional troubles. In absolute terms, turbines take care of 150 to 200,000 km. But often they do not live to old age. Replacing them is not cheap. It happens on diesel engines, 3.0 to a lesser extent, premature wear of the connecting rod bearings. Also not a pleasant thing, there are 6 and 8 speed ZF automatic machines here. There are few complaints about them, but this is if they were not openly mocked off-road and the oil was changed at least once every 100,000 km. In general, the transmission is one of the strengths of this car. The proprietary terrain response all-wheel drive system with a center differential and a rear differential lock works quite reliably even in difficult conditions, if the etc., ESP and HDC electronic assistance do not fail. The most vulnerable part of it is considered to be the rear differential. A rumble from behind will tell you that it needs to be replaced. Well, if chips are found when draining the oil, then there is nothing to think about, for a replacement. These things are not particularly repairable. We will not talk about the problems of the body. In general, the quality of the paintwork is on the level. Moreover, traces of corrosion are more likely to be found from below, on the frame integrated into the body, than on external parts of the body. Before buying, do not neglect the total check of the car and the service. Press all buttons, open windows, turn on heaters and be sure to check the operation of the Vebasto preheater. In addition to failures of the control module, often the cause of a malfunction of the stove is clogging of the spark plug, nozzle, burner, which leads to its destruction. It will not be superfluous to warn about frequent breakdowns of the hatch. A separate electrical unit is responsible for its operation, and repairs may require serious expenses. By the way, if anything, you cannot count on the purchase of a second-hand hatch. It's kind of like a consumable. Salon Discovery is the place for which everyone forgives the car. Even the vagaries of the air suspension, which have already become a real horror story for potential buyers, and other electricians. The cabin is premium and even the creaking of parts against each other is more like noble sounds on board a vintage yacht. However, you need to keep an eye on the electrician here too. Even a minor failure later can be a harbinger of costly repairs. Contact oxidation may also occur, but software failures are more common. This happens with the components of both the engine and the transmission, and multimedia, and, of course, the air suspension, which is complex in all respects. The weak point is considered to be the lower front ball joints. They have an increased load, and they have to be changed often. But even more often you will have to deal with the replacement of the front wheel bearings. 
vibration of the body at speed and an unpleasant sound that intensifies when the steering wheel is turned will report problems with them. As a result, we want to warn buyers against buying cars based on appearance alone. Another good third of the budget required for the car may be hiding in the internal organs of this attractive, but capricious car. Don't skimp on diagnostics. As for the optimal modification, we choose a 3-liter diesel engine. Here, and dynamics, and efficiency, and there are fewer problems. Air suspension requires special attention. Even just by inaccurately installing the jack, you can damage the compressor hidden in the left side member. If disco symmetrically lay on the belly, we cook 830 CU to replace a piston compressor. Pneumatic struts, from 415 US dollars, serve 100 to 120,000 km. Usually they lose their tightness due to cracks in the rubber corrugation. Automatic transmissions are not immune from failures. But based on service practice, they need serious repairs with a run of over 200,000 km. Both are readily repairable. Here you should carefully monitor the leaks. Relatively rare. But there are cases of damage to the drive shaft, its support and the front differential. A systemic defect that is recognized even in the company itself is the possibility of premature failure of the crank mechanism by turning the crankshaft liners, which sometimes leads to total consequences. However, with the restyling of 2013, this diesel problem seems to have been eliminated. And the liners no longer destroy the crankshaft. Body discovery traditionally resistant in terms of corrosion. The hood and tailgate doors are all aluminum. True. Ukrainian operating conditions quickly deal with chrome exterior trim. By the way, door locks quickly fail. For each, you can get more than 160 US dollars. Electricity is still LR's weak spot. In our conditions, the wiring actively corrodes, but this should not be scary when buying an SUV in the secondary market. All problems, although not cheap, are solved. And do not be afraid of computer failures, with so many electronics, they are inevitable.